Good morning, everybody. About eight o'clock, day two of the PA Trout Tour. We're out here in Dolphin County, Pennsylvania, fishing Clark's Creek. Really, it should be called Clear Creek because it is absolutely crystal clear. I mean, the hole in front of me is probably three feet deep and you can see all the way to the bottom. It's beautiful here. We're gonna be doing a catch and cook today. Hopefully, Creekside catch and cook. So, don't forget to click subscribe for me to stay up to date with all the trout tour updates and uh, we'll get to fishing here. Oh, it should be a good day. I should have brought a bag or something for my camera. I can't believe how crystal clear this is. Oh, got one. Yep, really nice one. Is that a tiger trout? You're gonna be dinner. Or breakfast. At breakfast. Alright. One more after that and that's all I'm keeping today. Hopefully. Well, that thunder scared me off for this creek. Guess we're gonna keep heading west for now. Hopefully drive through these thunderstorms that are rolling through. As soon as I get some service, I'm going to check the weather. I uh, have some other creeks to go check out today yet. Hopefully at some point, I'm going to get this catch and cook done. Even if it's back at the cabin, if I have to. It's not the end of the world, but what a day. I thought it was going to be a great day today, and uh, weather kind of lied to me, I guess. So, we're going to keep on keeping on, and uh, go find some cell phone service and check this weather out. I am soaked to the bone. I should have grabbed a rain jacket or something. Maybe I'll go stop at a Walmart somewhere and pick one up, just so I have it. Something cheap and simple keep me somewhat dry today because as long as it's not thunder and I can keep fishing with the uh, waterproof GoPro and all so I'm not worried about the rain on to the next spot Finally, for what we've all been waiting for, the eating portion of this video are obviously the most important. Other than the catching, you can't catch and not eat it. Or you can't eat it without catching. That's what I wanted. So, I really don't have any idea what I'm doing with charcoal. So, bear with me and uh, hopefully it's not going to be a total cluster. So, on the bag there, it says, caution combustible. Let's see how this works. There's a little flame there. It's spread out, hopefully. We have our fish from earlier. He has now lost all of his color, which is kind of scary. So we're going to cut right here behind his head. And I'm going to start cutting up his belly. Pull out all these internals. There's the fish, all cleaned up. We have to let the fire die down a little bit more yet before we can start cooking on it. So I'm gonna get to preparing the fish now. I got the fish all opened up. Obviously it's staple with trout is butter. I think we're gonna go heavy on the butter because it's good flavor. Cube all this butter up. Put that right on inside the fish. Might have been a little bit too much butter. There's the butter in the fish. Something I'm gonna try, some Old Bay. Never had it on trout. I love it on seafood. Sprinkle some Old Bay in there. All right, now that I have that all filled up, I have some aluminum foil in here. Try to keep the butter inside the fish, just like that. All right, ready for the grill. All right guys, looks like the fish is done. I normally go off of if the skin peels off real easy, it's done. Look at that, that old bay in there. Oh, ready? Probably could use a little bit more old bay, but it's good, bony, like usual. I, I don't know how to fillet a trout, so I gotta suffer. 
Look at that piece, all that old bay in there. Buttery, oh, so good. Very bony, but so, so good. Ooh, I swallowed a bone. Ugh. That's stuck. Got it. Ugh. Sorry about that. Well, guys, there you have it. Catch and cook. Kind of an odd day today. Only catching that one fish. This weather is just so crazy. It looks like there's more storms coming back over my shoulder here. So I'm going to get everything all wrapped up. Don't forget, click subscribe down below. Leave a like for me. It really, really helps me out. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. And as always, thanks for watching.